we at Palantir want the best thing for this country. That is a true and not plausible statement because obviously I'm a large stakeholder in a company with very specific interests. Okay, so that is point one. Is, this, is it good for the country for us to pen test every single program and look, does it work? How well does it work? What are the unit economics of this program? And it, is it necessary, so is it good? I think everyone would say yes. Is it necessary? I would say yes. And I would say it's necessary because in the West, broadly speaking, so you're an expert in France culture, I'm a, a, a lay person, uh, but not completely lay person. Uh, and, but I am somewhat of an expert in like Germanic stuff. And it, it's, uh, it is necessary because we have a legitimation crisis in the West. No one, believe our, no one plausibly believes the institutions work to the point where if you were spending your own money, you'd keep financing them. And the people, so those institutions have to be pen tested. What are the unit economics of this institution? By the way, this is an inherently progressive view until recently. Progressives want things to work because how do you justify the spend if it's not working? That's the classically progressive position that's been abandoned by the progressives. Uh, and so I want those systems and institutions to work because I believe that I will and we will do much better if things work than if they don't. So that's true and maybe not plausible. So now I'll get to plausible and true. It's good for Palantir. It's obviously good for Palantir. If you're in the business of creating value, like the Palantir, the history of Palantir basically is we build product, everyone knows it's very good or the best, like PG, which no one even competes against anymore, which is the anti-terror product. And then people have 5,000 reasons not to buy it because they don't like me, because I'm too crazy, because the unit economics are too good and they displace people, or the European version because it's not German and the person who used to run these things, hopefully no more in Germany, Nancy Fraser, is just completely an ideologue, would rather have terror attacks than have Palantir. Uh, um, uh, there's, and so the single best thing that helps my company is meritocracy. P pen test everything. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. We have hundreds of client contracts. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a contract that doesn't deserve to be renewed. Great. Maybe there's a contract that does deserve to be renewed that gets canceled. Pen test everything. Test the unit economics. Test the unit economics. And unit economics in this case also include general good, like the PG product stops terror attacks and augments civil liberties. So there's like there's a there's a you know there's a double good in there. So you know that's why I think these things are structurally. And then I think there's a more subtle thing that's going on in the market, uh, which is interesting, which is we've been saying for two years large language models are a commodity. Of course we were laughed at. Of course it's true. And, uh, and that you, the way you manage it is a software large language model hybrid and that there's a lot of value in large language models. America's gonna change because if they're, they're actually implemented correctly, you can vastly change the unit economics of a business. By the way, you know, judge, judge as in the book, judge the company by and the institution and the people by the fruits they bear. You know, that's how you end up with a rule of 81 in our company, but that's proxy because other companies get that. And then what you see in various announcements recently is people are realizing, oh, maybe large language models unmanaged aren't that valuable. And just like in the DOD, then, then people are like, well, okay, well, if they're not as valuable, we'll reduce the valuation of everything. What I think at Palantir and what I would relate to this book, even there's a couple reasons to read the book and many reasons maybe not to, but what I would say is that going back to Pareto optimality product and macro conditions, I am very happy with our position. <laughs> 